the current hotel and the annex hotel that we're going to the additional hotel. So it is not it, it has not hindered our moving forward with our design and ultimately with our submission. Nadine Burns, please, followed by Barbara Jean Weber. Is Nadine here? Could you read her card? There's a lot of people in the other room also that might have come around. Might take her a minute. Is Nadine Burns in the uh, in the house? Oh, actually, she's not here. Okay. Could you read it? All right. It says, please consider a plan or make your own plan to have Lake Worth Community Pool move to local park area in neighborhoods where Lake Worth citizens have easier access. Barbara Jean Weber, please, followed by Jenny Powell. someone say before we're a tough group. This is true. But there is also a heart and soul in Lake Worth that both presenters wish to become a part of. And I hope that they do realize that the commission represents the public. We trust them. We love them. And I wanted to know, will you listen to the objections and concerns of the commissioners when in fact they discuss these various packages with you. Will you be willing to be flexible in the terms that you have to match the needs of the city to your plan as opposed to the city having to cut in half its heart and soul to suit your designs. For Anderson uh, and Carr, I had some questions. Um, does Oceanside Bar and Grill have any other restaurants on the coast? If so, where are they? If you may, excuse me, Matt, should, should I finish first? Finish, please. Go. And um, again, perhaps back to what I said at the beginning. Are you going to honor? Do you have flexibility in your negotiation to honor the requests of the commission? When we, look, when we look at surrounding communities, the price per square foot for such a beautiful beach, and it is the best beach already, as both of you know, which is why you're here. So can there be a competitive, reasonable fee that you're willing to offer for the restaurant? I didn't finish. Can I ask a smidge more questions, Vice Mayor? Can you I'll do be it quick. Ten seconds. Jane, I just make me nervous. <laughs> 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 um, okay, let's, uh, let's see. Oh, with the local uh, employment, will you be allowing um, Lake Worth residents? to have first call at employment, or will they in fact come from the other restaurants? And to Mr. Michael, um, do you have an awareness of how much we love our community, our homes, our front yards, our trees, and our neighborhoods? And I hope that the city bears some responsibility for those residents on Lakeside Drive who've been paying for 50 years more to end their retirement there, and that we're respectful of them. Thank you very much, Vice Mayor. Let's start with Anderson and Carr. Once again, we're wide open for negotiation. Um, and it's got to fit within their business plan if we come to mutual agreement, which I'm pretty sure we could. Um, we'll pay what works for everybody. Um, as far as the employment, uh, we have to be an equal opportunity employer. Uh, so we can't segregate from locals to non to non locals, but we encourage everyone like worth looking for a job in a restaurant at least to definitely apply. Uh, okay, so I think the first the first question I believe was would we comply with with comments and, and suggestions? Um, to, to clarify, we've gone through this process since last September, and there were a number of 
staff comments and staff requests and staff uh, uh, questions. And in every instance, we have complied and we've made changes to the project, to the development, to the to any aspect of it that was asked or or even or even uh, recommended. So we, we will and we will continue to do that. We're, we're listening to staff. We want to work with staff. We've never. We've always worked with staff since day one, and we'll continue to. Um, as far as understanding the fabric, we're local. I live. I lived here for 15 years. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, 90, I can't say that for 90 percent of our developments around the country, but I can for here. We are local people local, that live here. Our kids live here. We're, in, we're, 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 we're part of the community. We're not from out of town, so. Yes, we do understand. I'm here often. I'm, out, I'm walking the streets. I've been walking the streets. Every, I do every day. So, yes, I, I do understand the fabric, and, it's, and we want to be part of it. And we're also very sensitive. Thank you, Jenny Powell, followed by Linda Mahoney, please. Ginny Powell, 224 North Palm Way. Um, it's hard to know where to start, but um, Mike made some great comments about how divisive everything is and we just can't get there. Both sides are digging in their heels, and I don't know how we correct that. Um, go back to square one? I don't, how do we back up? How do we, how, do we, how do we back up? How do we go forward? I don't know. But you know, you're right. It's, I think everybody agrees that there is something wrong with the beach. It's, I don't fully understand all the finances, but uh, there appear to be issues there. I'm really glad to hear that we are pursuing the original contractor and trying to make some amends there. Um, if I had to say tonight what I think we should do, I would say go with whatever is the lowest footprint and it's the low-hanging fruit. I made that comment at another meeting. We try to work with what, with what we have, which was the original, the, the ballroom and the you know building out a restaurant, what, whatever those original details were, to finish the casino building. Um, but I, I Mayor, you commented that you know we want to address the two proposals tonight, and to try to uh, ask a question. Um, my concern is, is, a big concern is traffic. I, mean, I don't drive to the beach, I walk to the beach, but I've been out there on a holiday weekend and I've seen traffic backed up over the bridge. Now, Hudson Holdings says that they can solve the parking problem. Um, there's been some references to a traffic study. I don't know that, has one been done? Has been done. And what are the results of that study? I know one was done years back. But not, 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 not it doesn't reflect what if Hudson no. Holden was to build this out in the way that they proposed. Mm -hmm. the county did. So we don't have any yeah. The county did the study, did it not? And just to clarify on the traffic study, in, in the ITN meeting when that was brought up, I think the concerns were mainly about the way the current configuration of the traffic flows are internal to the site, not so much trips to the site, that for emergency vehicles, valet parking, and, and how you, if you put a, another structure to how that internal traffic would function and serve all the needs of the beach was as much a focus of the suggested study that staff brought to the commission. We kind of understand the, the amount of traffic that's coming to the beach and would come to the beach. And you've got four lane roads coming through, good, good bad, or different. There's a four lane road through the middle of the city to it, and then you got A1A. It was more about internal because it's designed now. I mean, a certain configuration. If you alter that in any way with any of your proposals, how would that still work? Just to clarify that, because people people still think we were talking about an outside traffic study to the site. It was as much about internal, right? Okay. Mayor. And that hasn't been done either. Yeah, I, I agree know, too. We don't know what we're studying. And I want to thank uh -huh. you too, Ms. Powell, for for saying what you said. And if I had stepped out before the city manager made his comments, just keep in mind, folks. And I'm sorry, you know, we we all get frustrated. I'm just like you. You know what I mean? And it's very hard when you're trying to just be, just gathering information. 
and stuff like that when people are so heated in both different directions. So I apologize if I offended anybody, but I'm just as frustrated as everybody else in here, and I want to hear both sides, and I want to ask good questions too of these groups. And I know what we're facing when we look at budgets. We're in the budget process now, and I encourage everyone to please come to our budget meetings and be a part of the process because you'll hear all the different facts as, as they're proposed. And there were some mistakes in the initial budget planning sessions, and then they found some areas, and it, it's, it's a process, and it doesn't really complete until right before October. So um, you'll see everything. It's all laid out for you piecemeal. But um, I was so excited when everyone came. When I came in here today, I was beaming and smiling and so happy to see so many people here to give their input on things. But it's just overwhelming sometimes, you know, when you're trying to do the right thing and get the answers that everybody wants to hear. So, um, so keep that in mind, and I'm glad. Oh, well, I wasn't sure my cat, well, I know the beeper went off, but there were some, some answers to some questions coming. But, I mean, all this said, I think the citizens need to be listened to, too. Yeah. And, and to go with a huge project is, just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like expanding into the footprint of a Hudson Holding, holding style project is, is not going to make the residents happy, and they will, they will fight. Right. We will fight. But that's what we're here to. That. But that's what we're here to hear. We're just trying. To, we're just trying to get the questions asked. To hear the, this is the first time that I've heard the proposals. I don't know if anybody else here on the on the dais is the same way. But this is the first time I've heard the proposals, so... Mr. Well, well, I just to say, go for the low-hanging fruit. Okay. Try to fix our problems that we have, build out the beach as it was, or pretty much as it was originally hoped it would be built out, renting out the upstairs space, um, and so forth. Uh, so... And, the, and then what's the... May I ask a question? What's the answer for the, for the pool building? The building itself. Well, there's been discussion, was touched on briefly, about uh, raising the parking by a small amount. I mean, is there the potential of that money being designated for rebuilding or renovating that building? That's not possible. Well, understand that the beach fund is everything that happens on the other side of the intercoastal. So any expenses or revenues that are generated, be it from parking or from leases, goes into that fund or budget. So when we talk about budget issues, it's including the revenue from parking as the revenue source for the beach fund and all the operations up there. So it's all pooled into one, if that makes sense. But if there was an increase in the parking fund? That's a potential thing we're discussing as, as, as an option, along with some other things. Well, I understand our beach parking rates are better than, than any anyone else in county. So I, I think that's a price people would be willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner and Rosa. Um, as the ITN representative um, for the commission, some of the things that you had mentioned, um, the, I think the studies that we were looking at um, in Hudson Holdings proposal, they had a proposal for a two-story parking garage. Um, in, in our opinion, based on what we're seeing, we may need a two-story two parking garage now to accommodate what's going on at the beach. Um, the study would allow us to look at some of that flow, like the, the uh, city manager mentioned, and to look at, I mean, if we're going to, going to do it, we may need a three-story, we may need a four-story. We're not sure because those studies um, don't look at that yet. So that was some of the conversation that um, we weren't sure exactly what we needed because those studies weren't done. And as far as parking, um, we looked at the numbers and, you know, yes, we could raise by 25 cents, but those numbers would accommodate some of our needs now. It wasn't actually addressing the reconstruction of the pool area. Uh, I think when you're getting into a three to four story parking garage, that a lot of people would have a problem with that alone. Well, if you, if we, and we looked at that, um, again, again, we looked at that, but you know, um, our biggest cry is people come every meeting and say, we cannot park at the beach. Or during, during the holidays, we couldn't get um, uh, firefighters and, and uh, the police up there. So, you know, none of that was looked at, and we need to look at it. And yes. if you look at, um, some of the parking structures that are in Miami, if you were to put a parking structure on the far south side on the bottom, 
it would be green, you wouldn't even know it was there. But again, um, those were just options because again, if you're going to do it, we need to do it right. We, in the past, we haven't done it right. And you know, if, if the cry is we don't have any public parking for residents, um, because we took $5 million in, in county money, we have to open that parking up to the county. Um, we need to look at exactly what's going on. There's a lot of pieces to the pie, and uh, we have to take all that into consideration. And if we're going to do it one more time, we need to do it right. Well, let's just don't overdo it. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Linda Mahoney, please, followed by, I think, is it Todd Townsend? I hope I didn't vote. That was the longest two minutes I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we were answering questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you cannot split hairs between beach, sand, casino. It's 19 acres of public land east of A1A. Sorry. Just trying to help you because people outside probably want to hear. Um, beach parking garage is an oxymoron. I, it just is. Um, municipal Beach Business and Conference Center is an oxymoron. Conference centers belong downtown by the Gulf Street, not at a public beach. Um, the question I would have for Hudson Holdings would be, um, have they asked our county commissioners if they would like to lease any public beach land to them for their development? Do they, does the county commission want to lease part of the boys bar? Part of Chrysler's. That would be really convenient for the, um, the Gulf Stream guests. Does Lantana want to lease their public beach land to Hudson Holdings? It's not that far away. So I think they should ask those communities, those other public officials, if they would lease public land to them. I'd like to know how um, they propose to build this building on our public land within the text of our charter amendment without lease renewals. Because the spirit of that amendment was less than 20 years. It wasn't, let's do 19 and three 10 year renewals. The public felt that 19 years or less than 20 was enough to give a company the time to build out restaurant space in the new casino building. To um, Anderson Carr, I'd like to know whether they are willing to rent the upstairs um, at market rate for less than 20 years, including all renewals. Thank you. Start with Hudson Holdings. Do you have any comments? I think they forgot the question. Yeah, I think it should please repeat the exact question. Would, help. Okay. So, okay. Would you be interested in asking the Palm Beach County Board of Commissioners if you can build your development on county beach public land and the other communities with beachfront in Palm Beach County if they would let you build your development if they would lease the land to you at their public beach, not adjacent to or across the street, on their beach to build your development. Well, we're, 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 we're interested in, in building something that's an amenity for Lake residents. And, and it's not, and we're not, we're, we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't thought of looking to, to other cities to build uh, any sort of beachfront complex of any sort because we're not investing in those cities. We're investing in Lake Worth. When we invest in the city, we we, we invest 100 percent. We also invest, and we're committed 100 percent, and we're committed for the long term. So, I know we haven't this, we haven't thought of going to other cities to do to invest money. We really committed to investing money in Lake Worth because this is an investment for us, and it's an investment for the city. It's, it's an amenity for the city. It's free. We're not asking. It. We're building something that's that's an improvement. We're not changing much of the foot. As a matter of fact, we're reducing the frontage footprint that exists there today. In the municipal pool building structure, 
that is about 25% wider than what we're proposing to build. So what we're doing is really enhancing what's already there. We're improving it. And we're doing it at our cost. And we do, and that's that's something that should be that should be embraced because we're, we're not asking for public money. We're not asking for public financing. We're asking for nothing. All we're asking is that let us let us improve what the city that we're already investing in. That's really it precludes us from going to another city and helping them invest in that. Thank you. Well, I hear what you said. It does cost our land. That's what the price is. Our public land. <laughs> uh, yes, we know the. Um, 19 year maximum. Uh, once again, it's another negotiating issue, but uh, we would be fine with our initial terms being 19. Commissioner? I want to reiterate something that I just heard as an answer to a question from a resident. And the question I'm focused on is Has Hudson Holdings asked other? municipalities or the county, whether they would be interested in, hey, we'll build this amenity for you folks, <coughs> trust us, it'll be sustainable, all these good things. Would you be interested in giving some of your public beach land for this project? Because it's an enhancement. So what I'm hearing is it, it's an improvement. We are enhancing. And I have a huge problem with that. That is telling the citizens what's good for them. The way we did the previous speech is we had a charrette about what people wanted. And then we look around for some way to build that, to get the investment and so on. And this community very clearly rejected the idea of public-private partnership. And we don't want to go down the path, I had to vote. Not only did I get sued by the previous developer, personally, I had to then come around and vote 1.6 million of public taxpayer money for the idea of, and he said all the same things, oh, this is an improvement, this is an enhancement, to his pocket, maybe, but it wasn't what the community asked for. This process is, I would use some terms that I shouldn't, but this process is way out of whack. You ask the community first what they want. And if they say they want something, then you look around to see if something does it. You don't come in and push it on. I would just like to say that I don't know so much if they asked anybody else, nor is it our business to care whether they did. Mm, I think, I, no, excuse me. Excuse me. We asked others. We asked them. We asked the public to come to us with ideas. It wasn't about them approaching somebody. What do we care what the private business does to approach other people? We asked people to come here and give us ideas. Just to remind everybody. Thank you. And may I have my questions back? Yes. Thank you. You're not enjoying the... I kind of like being on the other side there. It's fun. Yeah, I want to raise my hand. Todd Johnson. Can I follow you on the Can I... Yes. Uh, to answer your question... Yes, we do work with other other cities in, in the exact in the exact way that we're, we're speaking about. We do do private partnership, private public partnerships. We do it to invest in cities that we are investing that are we that we make a commitment to. Um, we do it with public parks. We do it with public buildings, and public structures. And yes, we we don't we don't impose it on the city. We're trying to we're trying to provide solutions. Solutions that was a long term of mismanagement, and, and we understand cities and municipalities are not generally equipped to manage properties and to manage manage structures, manage manage events. That's always been the problem, and private entities come in and try to help out the public entity. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. We are we are not in any way pushing it. We're looking. We're looking. For, we're we're looking. For, we're we're providing some answers. And when there's and when there's comments, we will make changes. And if there's public comments, we're happy to make. We would love to make this a, a wonderful amenity that adds to already a beautiful beachfront. And that's that's our intention. Not not to push it. I'd like to say that you know, 
I get concerned when, when some folks come up here and try to frame this as if we're trying to shove something down somebody's throat. First of all, the city, the administration went out and just asked for some ideas. Because as the city manager said earlier, they've been approached over a period of time with people different ideas, none of which were, you know, no two of them were similar. You know, and, and it, 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 it pains my heart that when we go through this process, which we all voted to go through, and then when the folks come forward, we beat them up. We beat them up. We ask them to come into our home, and they come into our home, and then we slap them around like there's some kind of a hood, you know, a hoodlum. You know, I, I, don't, I don't get that. You know, we're not listening to what folks are bringing to us. And as it's been said over and over and over again, we can reject this completely and not do a doggone thing. But we need to listen. We would have never, if we hadn't gone through this process, we'd be going through a budget cycle right now trying to figure out how to plug a gap of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, that will be here this year, it'll be here next year, and the year after that. So, let's move on. Yolanda, say it to, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Townsend. Thank you. Um, I just, uh, uh, Todd Townsend, 502 South J Street. I wanted to ask if the company here uh, has a traffic study, because by the time the traffic gets down from 95 to A Street down to Dixie, you're already cr you're clogging it up. And then by the time you get down even local, even more local from Dixie to Federal, you've got three lanes total to get even to the bridge. Please talk into the microphone. Doesn't sound, I thought I was pretty loud as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're talking about three lanes to get all this traffic and all this fun loving stuff to get down to the beach so that we can do a good thing. Um, it doesn't sound like a very good idea. Uh, the reason, the big reason that we shouldn't continue with this project is because we don't know what the traffic study is. And I think that you're spending money on a project uh, before the traffic study is done so that we can, you know, so that your project has to kind of continue. At least that's the way that it's usually done. But uh, my question is, uh, uh, will you be willing to come up with a study on that, on the traffic study? Very good question. Thank you. Um, that actually was asked of us uh, during the ITM process, and, and we, we happily did comply, and we actually contracted with the traffic, traffic study analysis that was Kim Lee Horn, the same one that did it for the beachfront. Part of our entire concept in our, is, is not just how we can create an amenity, it's how to make it more convenient and actually more, more usable for the public. So adding more parking, also having the, having the, the, the advantage of having the hotels across the street allows us to, to divert traffic, not add to traffic. We can, as having that, that, to, that complex there allows us to park the cars, park the, the residents, get the hotel, and just commute them back and forth through our own, our own private uh, shuttle system. It's hard to answer my question. So uh, the answer to your question is 100%, we would provide a traffic study, we would finance it, pay for it. We offered to do it before when it was asked of us, and we will continue the offers there. As a matter of fact, we already have a contract with good traffic. Because you all have been in business for a long time, you've been down this whole road. Maybe, yeah, 100%. And so, and so do you think that these three lanes that cut through our town, three small lanes, are going to be enough 